Welcome to my channel. Today I will tell you about Sri Lankan Island. One of the world's most fascinating islands is Sri Lanka. The Indian Ocean's waters pour across it. The official and administrative capitals of the nation are located there. Sri Jayawardenapura, or Kote, is the administrative center, whereas Colombo is the official. There are also two official languages in this nation, Sinhalese and Tamil. The local populace speaks English very well because travel to Sri Lanka has recently gained a lot of popularity. Before the island was freed from the control of European governments, it was known as Ceylon. The state's current name, which was given to it when the new constitution was written. After visiting Ceylon, you discover that it's not simply a tea paradise but also a fantastic location for family vacations and outstanding youth recreation. Since Sri Lanka tours are now widely available, every traveler to the island may experience the unique friendliness and hospitality of the locals. Climate The island is situated not far from the equator. Tropical, warm, and humid conditions prevail. As a result, the island experiences constant temperatures all year round. Between 26 degrees Celsius, January, and 28 degrees Celsius, May, on average. The north of the island is hotter than the south due to its proximity to the mainland. On the north and east coasts, the rainy season lasts from December to January, and from July to May in the center. When purchasing a tour to the island of Sri Lanka, travelers should be aware that the southwest coast's vacation season runs from October to April and the northeast coast's vacation season runs from March to November. Another crucial factor is that the island's climate is ideal for family vacations. Religions Religions play a significant role on the island. The social structure, as well as many procedures and ideas, inside the nation, have historically been affected by the religious worldview of the Lankan people. The major ones are Buddhism, Hinduism, Christianity, and Islam. Buddhists make about 69% of the population, primarily Sinhalese. Hindus make up 15.4% of the Tamil population, which is not a small percentage. Malay and Moor residents, who make up 7.5% of the population, practice Islam. 7.6% of the Tamil and Sinhalese population on the island are Berger Christians. Other religions make up 0.2%. The local population's diversity of religious beliefs not only does not prohibit coexistence in a single nation, but it also adds to the island's vibrancy. Cuisine one of the few locations where you may sample truly unique foods is Sri Lanka. South Indian cuisine and Sri Lankan cuisine are both generally comparable. The national cuisine will be enjoyed by those who appreciate fish, seafood, and spicy meals. Naturally, when it comes to beverages, black tea comes in first. In keeping with colonial customs, tea is typically served with milk and in a porcelain dish. The typical coconut is the most often consumed beverage in Ceylon. Holidays There are five workdays every week on the island. The full moon and the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, are known as Poya days and are intended for meditation. Not only are beach vacations a major draw for travelers to Sri Lanka, but the island's mystery also draws visitors from all over the world. Travelers who are interested in history and culture will find Sri Lanka to be a true gem. The trip itinerary is extremely varied and includes stops at a turtle farm and Buddhist monasteries. There are many places you may visit and explore by foot, including tea plantations, historic cities, tea factories, an elephant nursery, and much more. Traveling with a guide, who frequently serves as a driver, is commonly preferred by tourists. But there is a strong case for traveling alone as well. You can always act impulsively while you're traveling by yourself. The first time athletes from Sri Lanka participated in the Summer Olympics was in 1948, when they represented the Dominion of Ceylon. Soccer, volleyball, and field hockey are the most popular sports in the nation. Rice, lentils, vegetables, seafood, pig, or chicken are the main ingredients in Sri Lankan cuisine along with a plethora of spices. 
It's worthwhile to try tuna in sweet and sour sauce with rice or potatoes as a side dish in fish curry. Samosas, a triangle-shaped fried pie with a meat or vegetable filling, are a nice option for a quick snack. Real tea, of which there are many different types and variations in Sri Lanka, will be a wonderful present. Few people are aware, however, that in addition to tea, the nation is renowned for its valuable and semi-precious stones, including amethysts, garnets, blue and yellow sapphires, and many others. It is preferable to purchase jewelry made of them from specialized local shops where the rates are reasonable and the quality is respectable. In Sri Lanka, it's fairly simple to combine a leisurely beach vacation with a tour of the nearby sites. You can achieve the same accomplishment by booking a room at the Gal Face Hotel in Colombo, where former guests Yuri Gagarin and Richard Nixon formerly resided, or you can rent a room from a local, which will be significantly less expensive. The Golden Temple at Dambulla is typically the starting point for a tour of the sites, followed by stops at Polonarawa, Anuradhapura, and the Sidiriya Plateau in the center of the island, which rises 170 meters above the surrounding plain. The plateau's name translates to Lion's Rock. A castle and King Kasapa's quarters were built here in the V century. The entrance to the citadel, the Lion's Mouth, has not survived but there are still stone steps at the top of the plateau that are cut between the lion's legs. Huge, vibrant frescoes that were once completely covered in porcelain have been preserved in the palace's mirrored hall. The primary holiday in Sri Lanka is February 4th, which is Independence Day. Every religious holiday on the island, regardless of religion, is observed here. The days of the full moon are days off from work and holidays when the nation's citizens dedicate themselves to the practice of meditation.